Hi everyone, welcome to the practical session number three. Today we are going to discuss about two methods for soil moisture determination. First one is calcium carbide method and the second one is infrared moisture meter method. First we will discuss about the calcium carbide method. This is an indirect method for soil moisture determination. The special instrument used for this experiment is called as speedy moisture meter or speedy moisture tester. This instrument is consists with two major parts. Those are metallic pressure vessel and the gauge. Gauge is already calibrated one, which gives the reading of soil moisture content percentage on the wet mass basis. The fundamental working principle behind this experiment is release of acetylene gas by the reaction between calcium carbide and the soil moisture. Now we will discuss about the benefits and drawbacks of this method. This method is considered as the best portable method for soil moisture content determination. As for the requirement, we can carry the speedy moisture meter wherever we want and take the quick readings. As you all know, quick readings are very important for irrigation scheduling. And also, this method can be used for each and every soil type without redoing the calibration. The major drawback of this method is with the time, mechanical tear and wear can be occurred in the speedy moisture meter and we cannot do the calibration on our own. Now, we will see the materials and equipment required to carry out this practical. First of all, we have the soil sample. When we are using soil, sand or any kind of fine particles, there is no need of sample preparation. But when we are using the bulk materials, there is a need of pulverization. Uh, this is the speed moisture meter. When you see this equipment, it has a gauge on the one end. On the other end, there is a cap. In order to remove the gap, you have to screw it out. This is the cap. And it is the place where we insert all the soil sample as well as the reagent for the reaction. This is calcium carbon, the reagent that we are going to use. This is highly susceptible to the moisture absorption. This is the balance. Using this balance, we can weigh only the a fixed weight that can be used for this device. These two are pulverizing steel rods. This is cool. We are using this to take calcium carbide. This is a cleaning brush that is used to clean this device as well as the cap. And in order to validate the gravimetric method, we are using moisture cans, analytical balance. In addition to this, we need drying oven as well as desiccator. Now, we are going to demonstrate you on how to do this practical. First of all, we have to clean the inside of this equipment as well as this cap using the cleaning brush. This is done in order to remove the residue of the previous test because the equipment is highly sensitive. Then we are going to weigh the exact weight of the soil sample. When you look at the soil sample, it is a fine aggregate matter, so there is no need of pulverization. Using the spatula, you can take the soil. The correct weight can be ensured when the red mark on the balance is coincide with the mark on the beam. Now we have measured the fixed weight of the soil sample and we are going to place it in the body of the equipment. Then we are going to measure two full measure of calcium carbide into the cap. Now this calcium carbide should be placed into this equipment but make sure you have to keep the equipment in a horizontal view.
close the cap tightly into the body of the equipment and screw it very tightly. This is done in order to avoid the mixing or the reaction between the calcium carbide and soil sample. Immediately after closing the cap, we have to shake the instrument for about 5 seconds while the dial is facing downward. At the end of 5 seconds, you have to turn upward while the dial is facing upward. Tap on the body of the instrument to collect the content at the bottom of the cap and keep the instrument 1 minute in this position. After that, repeat this process for about 3 times at 1 minute interval each. After completing the 3 cycles, change the position of the instrument in horizontal axis and shake it again. After that, we have to check the measurement. Make sure when obtaining the reading, the equipment has to be kept horizontal to the eye level. When you are done with this practical, we have to clean the instrument in order to remove the content inside it. For that purpose, hold the instrument while the cap is away from the operator. Screw off gradually to remove the acetylene gas inside as well as other materials. Make sure that it is away from the ignition source because the acetylene gas is flammable. In case of clay soils, there is a small difference in the procedure followed. In addition to the fixed weight of soil sample, we are using two steel rods. We have to put it into the body of the instrument. We are adding two steel bolts in order to facilitate the polarization process. After this, we have to take two full measures of calcium carbide. Close the cap while keeping the instrument in a horizontal manner and tighten it with a screw. Then hold the instrument in a horizontal position and rotate it for about 10 seconds. After that, hold it for about 20 seconds. You have to repeat this process for about 3 minutes. This is the way to record data. W is the speedy moisture reading which is in wet bed basis. MD is the moisture percentage in dry weight basis which is derived from W. This percentage can be computed by using this equation where W is the reading from speedy moisture meter. For an example, if moisture percentage of a soil sample on wet bed basis is 20, the amount of moisture or the water in 100 gram wet soil is 20 gram. The dry weight of the soil sample will be 100 minus 20 that is equal to 80 gram. M1 is the mass of empty moisture can. M2 is the mass of moisture can with wet soil. M3 is the mass of moisture can with dry soil and MDG is the moisture percentage in dry weight basis obtained by gravimetric method. Difference percentage is the difference between the moisture content obtained from gravimetric method and calcium carbide method. Let's move to infrared moisture meter method. As it means by the name, here we are using an infrared meter to determine the moisture content. 
infrared moisture meter contains an infrared bulb. This bulb produces an infrared radiation. This radiation helps to dry the soil sample. That means to evaporate the moisture in the soil sample. And also this contains a balance so then we can take the direct reading of soil moisture loss from 0 to 100. This is an accurate method, a direct method and also a rapid method. That means no need to wait for long to take the readings. This moisture determination method is most suitable for the substances which can be dried by heating such as fodders, pharmaceuticals and foodstuff like grains, cereals, flour and dairy products. Now I'm going to introduce the infrared moisture meter and its major component. This instrument is also called as infrared moisture determination balance. This pan is for adding the weight and this pan is for adding the sample. This part is called as heat reflector. These are the weights we are using for this instrument. There is balance inside this instrument to keep the balance between the weight added and the sample. This is the monster scale and this part is called an eye. Those lines are called as moisture indicator. This is the level control which is used to level this balance. This is the infrared lamp. This outer pan is called as collar which is to prevent convection caused by heat. This balance is called as level vernier. This knob is to perform the zero adjustment of this moisture indicator. This screw is for adjust the height of the infrared lamp. For the maximum precision reading, we need to pre-preparation the equipment. First of all, we need to place the instrument in a steady level position and insert the plug in. Then, we need to set the two empty pans with an attached pincet and perform the following adjustment. See the adjustment of the moisture indicator with using the knob. And then we need to perform the zero adjustment of the balance indicator with the leveling operation. If the instrument is moved during the measurement, this leveling operation should be performed again. Now we will see how to do this practical. We have already collected soil sample from the field for which the moisture content has to be determined. And for the equipment, zero setting has been already done and it is ready to be used now. Initially, place 5 gram of weight into one pan. equalize this weight, soil sample is added gradually into the sampling pan. This is done until balance indicator points to vernier zero. Following this, position the lamp right over the sampling pan and lamp heater should be set just low enough. And then turn the power switch on. As the sample dries, balance indicator moves upward. Make zero balancing by sliding indicator with knob. When the balance indicator stops completely, it means the sample has been fully dried. And now we can directly read the moisture percentage of the sample on the scale. 
This is the way to record data. Here, W is the infrared moisture meter reading in wet weight basis. MD is the moisture in dry weight basis which is derived from W. This percentage can be computed by using this equation where W is the infrared moisture meter reading, M1 is the mass of empty moisture can, M2 is the mass of moisture can with wet soil, M3 is the mass of moisture can with dry soil, MDG is the moisture in dry weight basis by gravimetric method. The different percentage is the difference in moisture content determined by gravimetric method and infrared moisture meter method.